Kinox 042 is a sister study of the 024. Now, 024 select the patient by PD-1 over 50% and randomized to pembrolizumab versus standard chemotherapy using progression-free survival as the prime endpoint. But then the Kinox 042 select the patient over 1% and then do the same randomization of pembrolizumab versus chemotherapy, but the uh, prime endpoint is over survival, looking at both the 1% cutoff, 20% cutoff, and the 50% cutoff. So that is a distinction between the 024 and 042. And obviously, with the over survival as primary endpoint, the sample size is a lot larger with 042. Now, the result, uh, which was a final analysis since our presentation in ASCO 2018, uh, was reported in year of CC this year. And this time, we actually confirmed the improvement in over survival of 20 months versus 13 months in the over 50% subgroup. And similarly, in the 20% subgroup and the 1% subgroup, uh, well, 1% is the overpopulation, that we also have an improvement in the over survival with a positive hazard ratio. However, in the exposure analysis, we also look into 1 to 49%, but this one, 1 to 49%, we actually did not observe an improvement over survival. What does it mean is a lot of benefit is actually driven by the 50% subgroup. However, one caveat that we can take in from this one is that obviously 50%, the standard treatment is single agent, but 1 to 49%, the standard treatment should be chemotherapy or chemotherapy with pembrolizumab as per Kino 189. But on the other hand, for patients who cannot receive chemotherapy, then this data may support the consideration of the use of single agent pembrolizumab because it's not actually inferior. Although it's not a non inferior analysis, but the data can suggest that, hey, it's possible to consider this option.